It's very common in, in practice to, uh, to look at functions and define its graph or give a graphical representation of a function. Well, here we'll define what actually a graph of a function f defined on its domain d to r is. Well, d is a subset of r, and usually in this course we'll take d to be a union of intervals or just an interval. Uh, the graph is a set of points in R2, which is given, so these are ordered pairs in R2, which are given by the x-coordinate and the corresponding y-value. So we here we see that actually we have an x-value and its image, the image of x. And this for all things that we find in the domain. Another way of writing this is that we look at all pairs x, y in R2, such that y relates to x in the following sense. So y equals the function value of x. So, for example, we try to look at the graph f of x, and fx equals the sinus of 3x plus x squared then we usually associate to the graph some picture in R2 that we find here. So we have a x-axis over here, y-axis over there, and any point on the graph is represented by a point in this plane. So for instance, for x value minus 2, we have a y value slightly more than 4, so this is the red dot over here. That's a point on the graph of the function f. So never forget to indicate the names of the variables at the axis. So it's very important that you know what is actually the axis and what axis. These are order pairs. So the first order is always reflecting to something that is contained in the domain. Usually in this course we call it the x-axis. And the y-axis is associated with the function values. Moreover, it's very important to indicate the units, the units in which the x and y values. So this can be done by locating the origin, which is the point with coordinate 0, 0, and 1 over here. So here we have linear scales, and here we have a unit of measurement 2.